Our feature game for session six is two two and one teams. Canada taking on Italy. Big game, everyone working their way through, trying to get to the top six position and get into it. Well, first end of this game, and look, that one top of the forefoot. Now a skip forced to throw against multiple counters. Stefania Constantini, pressure draw early. And this one just came down in time. Nice draw for the single. Knew they had that last stone advantage, and in the third, it was Canada with Hammer, but look at all those yellows belonging to Italy. Same situation now for Kerry Anderson. Yeah, can lead on this, this one a bit. Really a game saver. Needed this to stop in the forefoot, Good and carry. it did, so very nice draw. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in the game. It's been such a back and forth, even within ends, and in the fifth end, Looked like there might be a chance after a great shot by Constantini on her first. Anderson matches with her second. And again, a last stone draw. And again, perfect draw weight there. So skips. Finding the forefoot. That's a very good sign early in an event and early in the game as well. Well, sixth end and fifth end break. Canada talked, put together eight shots, and score a deuce. And they're able to do that. Wait, Harry Anderson, Anderson has Anderson. the open yeah, hit yeah. and stick to yeah. score two. Yeah, soft, Team so Canada <laughs> take control of the game starting the second Looked half okay of this match. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Then into the eighth end, Constantini and Italy decide on their first to, to try and open things up, knowing that they had to try and have a chance to score. Mike. Needs the four foot facing four, pardon me, three. This one needs the four foot. And it comes up a little bit short, and it is a steal of one for Canada. They extend their lead to three. And desperation calls for this long run back. Italy trying to score multiple points. One is not good enough. They got to try this triple raise double. And makes contact on all three yellows, but not enough of the third one to move, do any damage. And it is a steal of two and a victory for Canada. So congrats on another win, sitting at three and one. What were your thoughts going into this game? Um, yeah, I uh, wanted to play a little better than yesterday. So, uh, and I think we came out and did just that. We had a really good team game. I think that one was our best yet. Yeah, you could see early in the game a few struggles with the draw weight, a few heavy early on, and then a few pulling up short and over curling in the third and fourth end for mm -hmm. both teams. So uh, was, how did you deal with that out there? Yeah, we, um, we thought that uh, the speed got, it was faster than previous games. And then uh, in the little bit in the middle, it kind of got a little fudgy and grabby. Um, so then we kind of anticipated that a little better, and uh, but we thought the ice today was um, was better, and we adjusted fast. Yeah, and then in the sixth end, we we saw a couple of deep draws early, normally faster after that fifth end break. But for your team, you put a lot of good shots together and scored those in, important two points to get ahead in the game again, uh, and then another steal in the eighth. So what did you feel was the key to winning this game? Yeah, definitely uh, getting around that corner. Um, and uh, generating our deuce that way and we had uh, some misses from them and we also made some good ones to uh, apply some pressure. Yeah and after that steal it was looking like you were going to win all the way mm -hmm. but the last question playing your first world championship uh, outside of Canada how, how has that been? It's been really good uh, I'm not gonna lie it's tough adjusting the <laughs> jet lag but we were in Japan this year so we got a little bit of a taste of that and uh, yeah, but it's been absolutely amazing. And uh, great win so far, sitting at 3-1, and one, and congrats again. Good luck going forward. Thanks, Inc. Cameron. I think the ice actually held up.